Martin is in with us via Zoom uh, in Winnipeg, Manitoba. So it's great to have him with us live. So we're working this together by being together um, using this uh, technology. Um, so Jack, you had started out, you had asked quite a few questions there. I wonder if you want to help uh, recap there. I don't know if Cody is uh, unmuted on his, uh, on his mm -hmm. there he is, yeah. Okay, Cody. Yeah, yeah thanks. Thanks, uh, thanks, thanks for, for <laughs> thanks for joining us there on the second half of, uh, of our sure. thirty minutes. Yeah, yeah Cody. Good. Thanks. Uh, how about you fill us in there a little bit? Uh, you're uh, already in Fredericton since uh, October, and later yeah. this week will be launched in Moncton. And um, how's the uptake been? This is obviously not your first. So far in Fredericton, and then coming up to Moncton. In your view. At Fredericton, uh, it's going unbelievably well. The support from the community has been insane so far. Um, so tons of people using the service, tons of people downloading the app, a lot of great drivers on board working to prevent and bear driving and get people home safe. And um, yeah, it's been pretty overwhelming. Uh, we're super grateful, super appreciative. Um, and then same deal in Moncton, like Moncton, the support behind this. Um, Again, we, we, we expected there to be demand for this. We expected, uh, you know, a lot of people to be excited, but it's been just crazy to see the amount of support so far. So we're super, super grateful to everybody. And uh, how many, uh, just, oh, sorry, Jack, yeah, go ahead. No, go ahead. I was just gonna say, how many, um, how many cities are you in now and jurisdictions uh, across Canada? Yeah, so we're in uh, 18 cities, uh, and then we're gonna be 19 starting on, um, Starting Friday. on Friday. Friday. Yeah. <laughs> and then shortly after, before the holidays, we need to get St. John up and running too. And that'll put us at 20. And yeah, wow. we've just got a long ways to go. We're, we're just chipping away. So, what have you learned over these 20, these 19 launches and 18, 19, you're in the, you know, getting up to the, up to the 20 mark? What have you learned since the, big, the beginning and the middle and, and now? So, um, what, have I mean, you, what haven't you learned, yeah. I suppose? What haven't I? I've learned that, uh, there's always like another level. It, honestly, like at a certain points, it sort of feels like a, a video game. This this whole thing, we started out to fix the problem in one city and then it turned out to be a much bigger problem in a lot of smaller communities across Canada and to be honest, around the world. And um, whenever you think that you know how to do your job, it just like, uh, there's another level and way more to learn. And so, um, yeah, some some of the coolest things that, that we didn't expect, but really turned out to be true is like, Whenever I talk to customers um, and our, our, our passengers, I expect them to say, like, what's your favorite part about you, Rad? What do you like about the service? And uh, I expect them to say, okay, the, the, the pricing, I like that I get to save a little bit of money every time I use you guys. Um, I expect them to say the pickup times because majority of our cities, people get picked up in under 10 minutes now. Um, but almost always the first thing that they say is um, the, our drivers. Like, I don't know how this happens, but we really have so many incredible people coming on board. And a lot of our drivers and passengers like have become friends over time. So just one example of this is um, I was driving a, a round of night shifts. So just like 70, I was doing 70, 7 p.m. to 7 a.m. And um, and I got a ride, I, I, I drove this uh, customer James a couple of times, right? And James works in a bakery and uh, works the midnight shift. And he gets off usually at like 3.30 in the morning. So then James gets in my car, we start talking. And it, it turns out that like James almost like often he gets matched with his favorite driver, Terrence, right? And every time he gets, they get matched, James brings out a fresh loaf of, loaf of bread and they just talk about <laughs> life and they become like really good friends over time. Um, during COVID, uh, there was another person, uh, another passenger I was driving and she basically lived at home by herself, worked from home had like no contact throughout that whole period. And so one of the highlights of her week was when she would book a U-Ride and get matched with her favorite driver. And it just like brightened up her day. Um, as someone who started using us from when we first started launching, when we first launched, um, got to know like all of our drivers. And this passenger would just like show up at U-Ride barbecues, was friends with everybody. And so just the friendships that are happening here, uh, it's it's really, really cool to see. Um, and it, we, again, I, I don't know what we're, we're doing that makes, like all these incredible drivers come on board, but we have some amazing people. I could sit here and tell you stories. There are stories of drivers saving people, saving people's lives, like literally. Um, yeah, maybe that maybe that's another story later in the show. Yeah, I, 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 I would almost I like think it's, it's the, the, feeling the feeling that they, that they, get, they get of being, being independent, independent, sort of. Um, but at the same time, working with a team. Um, 
I, I, I just, coming from a business background of myself and kind of being my own boss, and my brothers are kind of the same way most of our lives, it's just, it's just that feeling of independence, but at the same time, you have a team atmosphere, um, which is really cool. So this is really exciting for Frederick, because I know we've heard from lots of people and watch on social media, different times of the year, uh, getting a cab is challenging, the wait times across town, it's not lucrative for cab drivers now, or some of them, the companies, it's tough, right? Uh, you know, fleet insurance is hard for commercial liability and that sort of thing. And, and so, I mean, if you have independent drivers with their own vehicles, they keep them up, up to snuff in great shape. Um, it's a pretty good ride. I mean, we've used Uber in other cities. It's quite the same. I just, I kind of want to touch on some of your background, Cody, before we finish up here. I mean, you've lived and worked in Fredericton. So tell us a little bit about your background. Weird story. Um, I'm not a traditional, like I'm not a business person. I'm not a tech person. Uh, my background is like, originally I grew up in, in Thunder Bay and uh, and I basically, like I wanted to be a professional soccer player ever since I was a little kid. Oh, uh, nice. Worked my butt off, ended up going to Europe, was fortunate to be able, I was able to play soccer uh, professionally over there, ended up getting injured. And, and basically when I went back home, that's where I saw this problem. And I just thought I've used ride sharing in other areas. This is a problem that shouldn't exist. And so, uh, again, like no experience in anything other than, than soccer here, but, uh, it was just a problem that had to get fixed. And so we got up and running and sort of, uh, we've just been learning on the fly and we've had so many incredible people behind us. It feels like almost like a movement, right? All the passengers mm -hmm. helping out, drivers helping out different business people, you know, giving us tons of advice along the way. And, uh, yeah, just super grateful. Quite a ride. Yeah. <laughs> <a> crazy ride. <laughs> long, long ways to go, but, uh, yeah. <laughs> Crazy start, anyways. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So yeah, well, what sort of message just... would you like to send to the viewers in New Brunswick and I guess across Canada, but specifically the majority of our viewers right now are in New Brunswick, in the centers, Moncton, Fredericton, and St. John. Uh, what yeah. message would you give to them in the last couple minutes that we have? I would just say that, um, like in in these like smaller towns, rural communities where we you know we all kind of live, work. Um, the rates of impaired driving are about three and a half times higher than in larger cities. And the deaths from caused from impaired driving are seven times higher. And this is a stat that shouldn't exist. And just on our end, the one thing I could promise everybody here is we will do our absolute best. We won't stop until we fix this problem across New Brunswick and far beyond that as well. And uh, we're just gonna keep working, keep doing our best. So thank you for all the support um to our drivers everyone who's stepping up everyone who's applied to drive so far we're super grateful for you we want this to be the best driving job in the city but we also want you to know the impact that you're making right all together the amount of rides that we're giving is actually making a huge difference and uh we can take a problem that existed for 30 years and you know just one quick, question. Uh, one quick question too cody before we wrap up um so people are asking, are, is this just available in the city of Fredericton limits or are we out around uh, a catchment area? Um, we can post online. I think online we actually have our full um, geofence area. Um, it's mainly Fredericton right now, but we're going to be expanding out uh, shortly too. So um, if, if we're not servicing your area and you are listening to this, send us a message uh, and we'll keep you posted because the bigger we get, we want to keep expanding that area and, you know, cover and, off as many people and, as possible. And do you mean the more drivers we have as well? Um, yeah. Is it just depending on how many drivers yeah. service the areas? Uh, both of those. So a number of drivers in areas. Right. And tell uh, us really demand. quickly where people can send that message to. Oh, yeah. Support, support at uridetech.com. Support at uridetech.com. And that's a uh, capital U or a, a U and not Y-O-U. Exactly. That's just right. letter U and uh, Excellent. Yeah. Cool. And well, then I guess one last thing too, we're giving 50% off all rides in, in, uh, in Moncton too, for, I think until, till December for third. So for, okay. uh, yeah, promo Perfect. code is. Well, that right. kind of runs us oh. out of time, guys. I, I will have you back on Cody yeah, to do a follow-up. Sure. Um, yeah. Thank you to our viewers on Facebook live, YouTube, uh, CHCO and bell. Uh, that's it from us. The car Next Wednesday. I'm Jeff. I'm Jody. Good night, everyone. Be safe. Thanks, Cody.